met a gentleman in passing who said to me, how does it feel to have won an Academy Award over Stanley Kubrick? And I said, well, Il Blancho Violente di la Leche was funnier than Clockwork Orange. That's how it must have happened. Don't, please. Shall I repeat that? It sounded funnier when he said it. Where are all these people? Is that for another press boundary? <laughs> Sorcerer is the film that came the closest to my vision of it, of any film I've ever made. The result is the way I first saw it in my mind's eye. But it was a very torture production. None of them were easy. You know, I mean, it's a lot harder uh, to do regular work, but it had a lot of problems, physical problems. Uh, about 50 people who worked on the crew, including me, got uh, malaria, gangrene, uh, were sick, ill for months afterwards. So it was a, a difficult film to make, but I think we're all lucky if we were able to make some. Some was translating this. Yeah. yeah. Even considered that. The Wages of Fear by H.G. Clouseau is a, is a great film. My film is not a remake. It is a new version of the film. And I'll tell you as we get along what my motivation was for making it. But if someone does a new production of Hamlet, it's not a remake, it's another version. I'm now planning to do an opera of Rigoletto with Placido Domingo. It's not a remake of any other production of Rigoletto since I've never seen a production of Rigoletto. So it's a new version. And I felt that the theme of Wages of Fear is a very important theme, and I tried to do the film in its time so that it was contemporary and relevant and original. And I think it is, you know. At the very least, I believe it is contemporary, relevant, and original. But not a remake. There have been five films made of the Great Gatsby in America. None of them are remakes of the Great Gatsby. They're all different. The, each one of them is, is different. Um, but the basic story is the same. There are very few stories. Most stories, especially of cinema, are based on something else. There are very, very few original uh, cinema stories. Uh, so, the, no, the problems of making Sorcerer were physical, much more than anything psychological. I hope to make another film with Tracy. We've talked about doing a contemporary Western. Um, Tracy Letts is now writing a new version of a great American classic called The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck for Steven Spielberg. Uh, I'm surprised he's doing that because he usually writes his own original ideas, but I'm sure he will do something very original with The Grapes of Wrath which has already been a, a very great American film directed by John Ford. Um, if we do make a film together, if by the grace of God we make another film together, we'll certainly bring it to Venice. If we're invited, really, I don't send out these invitations. <laughs> let's have some hard-edged questions. Let, let's, let's have some really serious, cutting-edge questions. Okay, you better. Possibly, I couldn't make films like Bug or Killer Joe uh, with a Hollywood studio. You have to have somebody wearing uh, a spandex suit with a leather, uh, leather on his chest, 
you know, flying around the world, saving the world from evil. You have to have somebody who can kill vampires or zombies, you know. I don't want to do that. I don't even want to watch it, to be honest with you. And, but, so I could never have made a film like Bond or Killer Joe. Not that the world would be any less rich if they hadn't. Put it would, you would be. Wouldn't. No, but uh, the kind of stories that attract me cannot be made for a major studio. No way. And it was even, you'd be surprised, in the days of uh, the Sarchista, this, most of the studios didn't want to make that. It was too far up, too edgy. I can watch uh, films that I've seen before on Blu-ray. I'll tell you what I watch a lot now. Still, Citizen Kane, All About Eve, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, Eight and a Half, um, The Bandwagon, uh, Singing in the Rain, uh, Diabolique, uh, uh, all the films of Antonioni, La Notte, L'Eclise, uh, uh, especially um, Blow Up. Uh, I watch these films constantly. I watch foreign films from many other countries. Uh, do you know about, a, ever hear of a film called a Serbian film? Have you heard of this? Have you seen it? It's pretty great, isn't it? Do you like it? Out. You don't like a Serbian film? Okay, no, I, I think it's great. Anyone who doesn't like it can leave right now. The press can no, I watch older films. I think she's still there. I don't, I haven't seen a new film in a very long time. But I love the films, for example, of the Cohn brothers in America. And I love the films, the two that I've seen, by Matteo Garoni. I, I like very much his, <coughs> his, his, his Divo and uh, Gamora. No. No, Dino is not Matteo Garone, it's Sorrentino. Sorrentino. Sorrentino, El Divo, and Garone Gamora. Yeah. I thought these were great. Well made. I'm not talking about do I agree with them politically or anything. I think they're very, uh, very well made.